these tools of the trade, a necessity to running a clothing business in the 21st century. The creative mind behind this South African shop is a man with big dreams. We are gearing the business right now to be more international. Shepo Malala may dream of his clothing designs going global, but he faces one challenge, almost daily power failures. Something that has to take you a week can take you up to four weeks. You know, so that's the biggest challenge that we have right now. While Malala has solar panels to help keep some of his machines running, they're not enough to run the bigger equipment. This business is not alone. South Africa recently signed deals with China, its biggest trade partner, to help with the energy crisis here. They include a grant and emergency equipment from China totaling some $30 million. Some experts see investments like these as an example of China's shift away from big infrastructure investments under its Belt and Road Initiative to more strategic investments under Beijing's green agenda. While South African President Cyril Ramaphosa thanked the Chinese leader for the grant, he also pointed to what he said was a significant trade deficit. Ramaphosa wants to see African countries move away from mainly exporting raw materials to more finished products. But experts say years of government mismanagement and corruption mean much of the infrastructure in South Africa, the continent's most industrialized country, is breaking down. I doubt in the short to medium term that the trade imbalance between South Africa and China will change. Firstly, the destruction uh, of South Africa industrial capacity. Uh, secondly, destruction of infrastructure because South African ports aren't working efficiently. The rail infrastructure has collapsed and we've talked about the electricity already. So therefore, it is a wish list. South African Tony Esslinger, who runs Primal Spirits Distillery, also struggles breaking into the export market with power outages being one of the main impediments. The problem with it is, is that these machines uh, run throughout the day and can uh, one run on the spirit run, for instance, is eight hours. So if we have an interruption halfway through, then we have to reheat the equipment the next day. That's extra electricity. Whether the new Chinese-funded electrical infrastructure can help businesses such as this distillery or this atelier expand overseas may depend on management within South Africa and China's willingness to import finished products from South Africa. Kate Bartlett for VOA News, Johannesburg.